Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I call Jenny Marcroft. Tēnā Thank you, Madam Chair. It's an honour to rise and speak on behalf of New Zealand First on this uh, vote appropriations. Eighteen nineteen. <laughs> It's a significant increase in funding that we've seen in vote conservation, and that is something to be uh, very excited about. In fact, we heard that uh, from this side of the House earlier in this debate process that it was exciting. No, Madam Chair, it wasn't exciting. It was very, very, very exciting, and I'd like to just reiterate how exciting it is to have $181 million over the next four real years. Money. That's real money. Uh, into conservation, to support the Department of Conservation for a program to restore capacity in the department, capacity that was lost under the previous regime. So I'd just like to acknowledge the Minister of Conservation, the Minister of Good News Stories, for this increase in the budget. National's uh, big initiative uh, in the pre previous regime on the environment was in fact a bit of a Trumpian style diversion tactic and as the whole country was waking up to the realisation that we have serious water quality problems with our rivers, what did they do? What did they do? Um, order they launched the, the 2050 Predator Free Programme. Yes, estimates, Madam not what Chair. the previous government did, okay. but what this government's estimates are. So we will know that uh, they, uh, the Predator Free them. Programme 2050 is being extended by this government because we do understand that to take care and eliminate predators, uh, there's no point paying lip service to it. In fact, we must throw real money at it and seriously combat these predators. In fact, we have supersized the efforts that were made previously because this will make a real difference. And the Taranaki Maunga project will not only target pest eradication through vote conservation, but in fact it will restore lost species back to the Maunga. Uh, Madam Chair, we note that uh, protecting our natural resources will ensure a future uh, not only for our grandchildren, but our grandchildren's grandchildren, uh, our mukapuna's mukapuna. Conservation is about dealing with the issues that they are unfolding now to ensure that we have a future, a healthy, flourishing future for all of the future generations to enjoy. That's right. uh, Madam, Madam Chair, there is no planet B. Uh, and New Zealanders, we understand that. We understand and we have a deep fascination with nature. It's part of our, our national psyche. It's embedded in our DNA. We enter our nature's stores from Te Reinga, Wairua, Cape Reinga in the north to Bluff in the south and all the regions Ngā Hoewha. We pride ourselves in our unique physical connection, in fact, our spiritual connection with Papa Tuanuku, our world-renowned conservation estate. We are very excited that, uh, for me, in the Rodney region, we have the Parry Cody Park. This is a very small native uh, forest of Cody trees, and we have our Cody and Native Bushmen's Association. For the last 30 years, they have been protecting our patch of native Cody forest. They've done such great work, we have no Cody dieback there. They have resourced this themselves. We understand that Cody dieback is a microscopic fungus-like pathogen that infects the roots of the Cody and kills the tree. This vote conservation will see 5.48 million, uh, million in annual operating budget to be added back into DOC's baseline. That will help manage the Cody dieback through into the future. And uh, uh, thankfully now we have a new government. We, we actually might still have time to save the Cody. Uh, so let me reassure <coughs> the House, uh, Madam Chair, that this government understands the extent of the problem. We are very serious about committing all the resources that are required. And just like Mycoplasma bovis, this government has been left to deal with a problem that should have never grown to the extent that it has. Right. But we do get it. We do understand that strong conservation and environmental values are the keystone to the New Zealand way of life. And we are prepared to protect that. We are putting our money where our mouth is. Now, if we tarnish our environment and our conservation image, you know what? We will never get it back. So without strong conservation values, we will have no business, no livelihood, 
and no future, but we have good news. We have $181 million added into vote conservation, and that is something to celebrate, Madam Chair. Yeah. Right. I call Erica Stamp. Thank you, Madam, uh, Madam, Chair, uh, Madam Chair. I'm